Have you ever wondered why we face different weather conditions? Why is it so hot and uncomfortable in the months of April and May? And why does it rain in June and July? Or why do we wear woolens in the months of December, January and February? As a kid, I used to wonder a lot. And that brings me to the chapter that will answer all these questions. Climate. Did you notice that I already have used two terms? Weather and climate. Now, weather refers to a state of the atmosphere over an area at any point of time. It refers to a weather condition of a particular day. And climate refers to the sum total of weather conditions and variations over a large area for a long period of time. To be precise, for more than 30 years. Well, what does that mean? Let me explain. Now, to determine the climate of a region, there are scientists who study weather. They are known as meteorologists. These meteorologists study the weather condition and its variations for at least 30 years to determine the climate of a particular area. So, climate is constant as it defines the weather condition of a particular area over a period of time and weather is momentary as it changes every day. Confused? Let me break it down further for you. We always ask how the weather is in the morning or how the weather was last evening. Also, we forecast weather. If it's going to be rainy tomorrow or it's going to be cloudy or whether it's going to be a hot day or a cold one, etc. And when I say climate is the sum total of weather, I mean when we think about a good time to plan a trip somewhere, the answer we get are during a certain months. And now this mentions a month not about a particular day, but a period of time. That is why we say climate is the sum total of the weather. Therefore, we can say that climate is a broader spectrum of weather of an area. All doubts cleared? Okay, great. Okay, have you ever noticed about weather changing several times a day? This change in the weather is due to the following factors. Interestingly, the elements that determine the weather condition of an area are the same for climate as well. And they are the temperature, the atmospheric pressure, the wind flow, the humidity and the precipitation or rainfall. Now as the climate of an area is dependent on the weather conditions of that particular area, we can say that these elements are also responsible for the changes in climate that occur over a long period of time. In other words, both weather and climate have the same elements. Now you may also have observed that the weather conditions fluctuate very often within a single day. You might feel very hot during the day and at the same time pleasant during the evenings. But like I was saying earlier, round the year we notice a set pattern of weather conditions over a few weeks or months. Be the days are cool or hot, windy or calm, cloudy or bright, wet or dry. So on the basis of these fluctuating monthly weather conditions, a year is broadly divided into three seasons. Winter, summer and monsoon. We shall discuss the seasons at length later. But before moving forward, let me ask you a quick question. Do you know about the origin of the word monsoon? The word monsoon is derived from the Arabic word mosim which literally means season. And this monsoon refers to the seasonal reversal in the wind direction during an year. Now the world is divided into a number of climatic regions. Do you know what type of climate India has and why is it so? Let's find out. Now meteorologists have classified the climate of India as monsoon type. And in Asia, this type of climate is found mainly in the south and southeast. Though India has an overall unity in the general climatic pattern, there are perceptible regional variations in climatic conditions within the country. Also, the different elements factor in for these variations. On that note, let me tell you how the various elements function. Now, the atmospheric pressure, wind flow system, and humidity of any area depends on the latitude and altitude of the place. They influence the temperature and rainfall pattern or the precipitation of an area. 
So let's find out how these two important elements, temperature and precipitation, vary from place to place and season to season. So let's start with the temperature and understand how it varies from place to place in different seasons. Now during summer season, that is in the months of March, April and May, the mercury occasionally touches 50 degrees Celsius in some parts of India. For example, the Thar Desert in Rajasthan, whereas it may be around 20 degrees Celsius in Pahalgam in Jammu and Kashmir. Again, on a winter night, that is around January and February, temperature in Dras in Jammu and Kashmir may be as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius. But in Tiruvananthapuram, on the other hand, may have a temperature about 22 degrees Celsius. Also, in certain places, there is a vast difference between day and night temperature. For example, in the Thar Desert, the day temperature may rise to 50 degrees Celsius and the same night it might drop to near 15 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, there is hardly any difference in day and night temperatures of Andaman and Nicobar Islands or in Kerala. You know, as a child, while looking at the clouds, I used to wonder how do these clouds know exactly when to pour down? What gives these clouds the signals to go ahead and release all the water droplets? Tutomate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.